So hey my YouTubers and everyone in the world, today is Friday, May the 27th. The time is now 9.06 a.m. guys. It's going to be a beautiful Friday all day. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell so you guys can see more of me. And make sure to visit my website, adaycreations.com. Now today's topic is going to be five things to stop doing if you want to flex on your ex. So we're going to be talking about five things you want to stop doing to flex on your ex. Now, the first thing you want to stop doing in order to flex on your ex is you want to stop giving them the attention that you was giving them before. Whatever you was doing to make them feel good, whatever you was doing to, you know, um, you know, just boost their confidence, just being patient with them and nice and kind and giving them all that attention. And you just got to stop all contact when you and your ex are constantly in contact that is a sign that there's still some feelings there there's still some emotions there that you know maybe you're hoping for you guys to get back together but if you want to flex on your ex then you got to really stop giving them all that attention and that's the that's the aka that's what everything boils down to stop giving them the attention that you was giving them before if you want to flex on your ex now the second thing you want to do if you you want to stop doing if you want to flex on your ex, guys, and stop caring about your ex. As long as you care, then you're going to be willing to go above and beyond. You're going to be willing to sit there and give them all the attention that you feel like they need or that they deserve. Or, you know, you want them to have that same feeling that you have for them. But the problem is they may just use it up to their advantage and then, you know, still throw you to the sharks. Because they don't have any, you know, real feelings for you as far as they don't see themselves with you in the future. So they're going to take everything they can from you until they get tired of you. And then you're going to end up back in the same situation you are right now. Trying to prove to them that you're worthy. Trying to prove to them that you love them and you care about them. So you got to get to a point where you just stop caring. Just don't care about your ex like you used to. Because you got to you gotta understand that you come first. And as long as you care about them, you always going to go above and beyond. And they probably don't even deserve you. Now, the third thing you want to stop doing if you want to flex on your ex, guys, is you got to stop putting your life on hold. A lot of times we sit there and we feel like we got to put our lives on hold for our ex. Oh, he's out there doing him or she's out there doing her. So we're going to sit around and wait for them for six months, a year, two years. This is time that you got to realize you can't get this back. This is time that you can't get back. So at the end of the day, you got to you got to get to a point where you start putting yourself first. You know, get yourself together mentally, physically, emotionally. You know, go back to school. Go for that career job opportunity you always wanted. You know, d dive into your passion. Figure out the things that you like and you dislike. Figure out what makes you happy and what makes you smile and go for it 110%. Don't put your life on hold for your ex anymore. Because as long as in their mind, I know for sure she's waiting. I know for sure he's waiting. They're going to keep doing them. And... You know, they're out there having fun, having a good time, enjoying their lives while you're sitting around hoping and praying that they come back to you. And they're not. They have no intention of coming back. And even if they do come back, it's not good intentions. It's probably malicious. So it's like, why even waste your time putting your life on hold for someone who's not even worth your time? Now, the fourth thing you want to stop doing if you want to flex on your ex, guys, in 2022 is don't speak bad about your ex anymore. Don't speak bad about them to mutual friends that y'all might have. Don't speak bad about them to family members or your friends. Don't speak bad about them even in your mind. Just know that whatever y'all have was what y'all had and it's done. It's gone. It's time to move on. Because as long as you're speaking bad about them, especially if y'all have mutual friends, they're going to find out, oh, yeah, he's still mad. She's still mad. They still upset. I got the best of them. And that's the last, you know, you don't want people to think that they got the best of you, especially when there's so much more to you that you're still learning about. So don't ever, you know, speak bad about them anymore. Get to a point where you accept the situation. You're like, OK, with it, even if you're not. Work yourself up to that. But speaking bad about them shows that you still have feelings. It shows that you're still bitter about the situation that took place between you guys. So start changing your mindset. Don't even speak about them anymore. They no longer exist. 
Now, the fifth thing you want to stop doing in 2022, guys, if you want to flex on your ex, is you got to stop hanging out with mutual friends. That If y'all have mutual friends, that's a tricky situation to me. You might have to get a, a new group of friends because that's always a way for them to try to come back, but not necessarily in a good way, just to see what they can get out of you so that they can do the same thing all over again. You know, if a person shows you who they are, I'm, I'm a true believer that you got to believe it. So at the end of the day, it's like if y'all have mutual friends, I suggest you kind of fall back from that a little bit at a time and get you a new set of friends. Because, I mean, that's that's a reminder of your ex. And who's to say, like, the mutual friends are going to come to you and tell you stuff about what's going on in your ex's life. And you don't need to know any of that. Remember, this person came and went. So at the end of the day, there's no point in holding on to dead weight. So I hope that those five things we talked about today on what you need to stop doing in order to flex on your ex opens your eyes to the reality of this situation. And if you like this video, make sure to leave some comments down below and let me know what you guys think and visit my website, adaycreations.com. Until the next video, guys. Peace.